Greetings. What we have here is the circuit board from an old Cisco 837 ADSL router. This one suffered lightning damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the chips one by one and give you a brief description of what each chip is and mark them off one at a time with my special marker. First up, a 1790 EUA DC to DC converter. Here it is. Then we have U2, which is an RT9172 25CG 2.5 volt regulator, down there. We don't have a U3, but we do have a U4, which is an NM358AM dual op amp. And that's just down there. U5 is a Texas 5001C pulse width modulation controller. We don't have a U6. We do have U7 and 8, which are both 16 megabyte SD RAMs, which are wind bond W9812160H75s. They're here. U9 all the way up to U20 are all Philips ALVC245 bus transceivers. We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 20. U21 is a Samsung K4S 161622 h 2MB SD RAM. That's up here. Which is connected straight to U22, which is an ST MTC20156 TQ C1, which is a DMT modem, ATM framer, and controller. U23 is a Cypex SP3243 ECA RS232 interface which connects to this console port means it's here U24 is a Texas VA20, VA125 which is I believe a quad bus buffer and that's somewhere down here Yep, that was it. I'm going to miss out the two four fives there. U25 is a Freescale XPC 857 DSLX-P50B, which is a power quick microcontroller. And that's here. It's in the Paul Grid array, so it's a bit tricky to target. U26 is an Intel TE28F320, 4 megabyte flash. U27 is a DIMM slot, 
which also contains the same chip. U28 is an ST MTC 20154TQC, which is an ADSL analog front end. Works in conjunction with U22. U22 was the square chip. There. And U28 is the square chip there. Sorry, the square chip there. U29 is another 8 meg is another flash memory, this time 8 megabytes. It's a TE28F640. And it's there. U30 is the bone chip. Right up there. It's already blown its top before you can get anywhere near it. U31 is another SD RAM chip. That's a Samsung K4S641632H. In fact, there are two of those, and they're both on this dim slot down here. U32 is a tiny little chip marked G8XZ and I can't find any details on it. That's located up there. U33 is an empty slot. U34 is a Hiffen 7902PT6 network security processor. And that is the big chip I accidentally targeted on there. U35 is an ICSI IC61 LV6416, which is 128 kilobytes of SRAM. U36 is a Marvel 88E6052 RRJ, which is a 7 port fast Ethernet switch next to the network ports here. That leads us on to a YCL PH406466, which is a quad auto MDIX transformer. It automatically allows you to plug in crossover cables or straight through cables and it detects automatically which one they are. That's probably not going to do an awful lot. That's this big chip up here. U38 is an empty slot. U39 is an Altera EPM3128 ATC100, which is a programmable logic device. That can be found here. U40 doesn't exist. U41 is an LVC125A, which is a quad bus buffer. U42 is a P46AP FDS voltage regulator. That's way over here. Hiding underneath the capacitors. There. U43 doesn't exist, and the last thing we have is U44, which is a Dallas DS1832, which is a 3.3 volt micro monitor and a Connor reset device. 
which monitors the power supply and automatically resets the CPU. And that can be found So that's everything inside. Obviously there are transistors and capacitors and resistors and all sorts in there, but that's the main, that's all the in integrated circuits covered anyway. So now you know what's in there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.